Hi friends, today we're going to do a portrait in the style of Kahinde Wiley. So for this project we're going to need two pieces of paper, a pencil, some markers, scissors, and glue. And the first thing I'm going to do is put my name on one of the pieces of paper, the one I want to start with. You don't have to write your name on both and you'll see why later. But And then your uh, class code. Flip it over and then you just need to pick any light color and color the whole background. So once you have the background colored in, you can go through and do a pattern. And it can be anything you want, any design that repeats. So once you have your patterns done and your names on it, you can set that aside. And on the other paper, we're going to draw a portrait. And it could be a picture of anybody. It could be yourself. It could be somebody in your family or a friend. It could even be a teacher or it could be a celebrity that you like. So we just need... I'm going to show you some tricks though. We're going to start with basically an upside down egg for the head. And your eyes go in the middle. And they're shaped kind of like footballs. And then you can put some circles in them for the iris. Your nose is halfway between your eyes and your chin. So I'm going to draw the bottom of my nose. I'm going to do a self-portrait. And then you could just draw a line up. Everybody's eyebrows are different. So look at the person's eyebrows and how their mouth is and where that would be. And then your ears line up with your nose. So the top of your ear and the top of your nose line up. And then uh, hair goes above the top of the head and below the top of the head. So kind of like where your bangs would be is down here and then above too. But if you have long hair it might go all the way down to your shoulders. Uh, I'm going to do two lines down from my neck and a collar out and down from my shoulders and then you probably don't have a beard but I do so I'm going to draw that because I want this to look like me. So once you have your portrait drawn, you can color it in. Once you have your portrait painted or colored in, you can go through and give it a black outline just so your lines will show up a little bit better. And now I'm going to use scissors and I'm going to very carefully cut it out right on the edge. And I want to try to get rid of the white background. I don't want that anymore. So once you have your portrait cut out, you can get your background that you made. And we're going to glue it right onto it. And I picked the same color for my skin that I did for my background. But if they were different colors, it'd look even better. So I'm going to use a glue stick, but any kind of glue would work for this. I'm going to put it on the back of my portrait. And I don't need my name on this paper because it's on the other one, on the background. So we're just going to combine them right now. So I like to line it up with the bottom. So it looks like it's all part of one piece. And there it is. So there's a portrait in the style of Kahinde Wiley. I hope you like this project. Work hard and have fun.